everyone, it's Julia. Today I am working with another product from Arteza. This came as a fabric bundle with the fabric markers and then these 3D fabric paints. And this is what I'm going to be using today. It did come with some stencils, numbers and letters, and a couple designs, a couple different paint brushes, and 30 different colors. Now the colors are wonderful in this set, just a wide variety. Um, yeah, and I'll go over some more of those as I'm working here. I'm going to be making fabric covers today, and it's just I don't go over the complete process of making my one of my journals, but I will link all those down below for you so you can take take a look at some some of these. I'm ba basically just playing with these today, and I started using my my jelly plate. This is a large jelly plate. It's like the 12 by 14. I am using some fabric medium and mixing them using a brayer on, on my jelly plate. Some of the paints I also left more dimensional. So they're going to have just a different, different look on the fabric. The fabric that I'm using is a, is a cotton drop cloth. I, I like the look of that because it, I'm going to be using just using the raw edges and it frays really well and just really cool for for fat for journals. These are going to be art journals and I'm doing two on each one because one's going to be the inside cover and then one is the outside cover. And in between the two layers will be the heavyweight Peltex. I don't go over all that in in here, but like I said, I will link some of those videos down below. I'm just using some paper tags here to clean up some of the paint. Don't, don't want to waste that paint. And I use these, these tags in, some, in journals. Wanted to try one of these stencils. These are extremely sticky and, and hard to get off this paper, but I worked at it. And it stuck really well on the fabric. These are a one-time use. You're not, it was, I would, would not have been able to use that pineapple more than once. And just adding my paint here and my I use a fabric medium because I'm wanting to see if I can get this to be a softer feel these paints just have that plastic feel to them on fabric and I don't know if the fabric medium really helped at all it still had that you know that plastic feel I really liked how this pineapple turned out um, it, I, I add a few things to it, but you'll see it in a second when I take that, that stencil, peel that stencil off. I'm just adding a little bit more paint. These are going to be art journals with watercolor paper inside. So I'm just adding the word art on the side of this pineapple and this is a metallic black that I'm using and you can't really see the metallic on the on the video but these the metallics in this set are wonderful there's eight of them plus I believe a, a glitter as well and these are I just I just love working with with these um, with, with these metallics and this is where these just shine if adding little pieces of of a 3D look to a design like this. And I just added just little pieces of the paint um, more as a, as a 3D effect. I do go back in and I outline some of this pineapple with free motion stitching as well. Um, it just, and it turned out really, really cute. On to another stencil. And I'm not using my jelly plate at all for this one. I just am using my stencil and just a, a stencil brush and just tapping this um, paint right onto, to, onto this stencil. I am using two different colors of blue and then I'm also using this metallic gold color which doesn't show again show up very well on the video but it just has a really cool look. Just adding just just little pieces of this stencil to the front of this this fabric cover journal cover. I 
I'm going to be using stamping a word words on with this Donna Downey um, stamp set. Again, everything will be linked down below. This says make art every day. Wasn't real happy with how it turned out, so I'm re-stamping it on, on a piece of muslin. This muslin has heat and bond light on the back of it. So I'll be just ironing this into place. And just covering that original um, that original one that I kind of messed up on. Wonderful thing about sewing is you can just cover things up, right? And now you can see I outlined a couple of them with my free motion stitching and then also stitched on those words. And again, this is where I love using these three-dimensional paints and just adding color to certain areas of your design. And here I'm going to be just coloring in these little circles. This kit also comes with several fluorescent colors, just a wide range. I really like the earth tones or the neutrals, the browns, and I, I, the next design that I do, I will be using more of the, of the browns. And this is that metallic gold. And using another stencil, this one has an Aztec look to it, and so decided to go with this arrow design that came with, with this kit. And again, I'm using more of the, to more of the brown colors. There's burnt umber, um, there's raw sienna. And again, I believe I'm using the gold color. Now the arrow I was able to, to take off and re-stick two other times. I'm putting it on the back of this journal cover. And then felt like once that once what it was folded, like how the journal was going to look, I felt like I needed one more arrow. So I'm adding that again along the side. Adding the word free spirit. Again, this is just a stamp. And this is a unity stamp. And I don't know if it's available, but I will list the unity stamp website. I'm, I'm putting grommets and I'm using my crop a dial. The grommets that I love using are the 3 16th, so the hole is 3 16th, because that's what the hole is on my crop dial. And again, I'll link everything down below for you. Just using this little tool and inserting this. This is a really easy system, a, a binding system. Um, I just use the two grommets. There's going to be watercolor paper, and there's I'm folding it right now. This is six by nine inch watercolor paper. I use a total of three pieces for each um, signature, and there's two signatures in each of these journals. So six pieces of this watercolor paper, and this is high quality, 100% cotton watercolor paper, 140 pound. It's really fun to use. What's wonderful about this binding is you can remove the pages very easily to work on or add new. Um, and again, I will link a video that shows this a little bit closer. But basically, all these, I cut the cord at 30 inches, and all of the cords go through that bottom grommet and then are tied. So the pages can easily, easily be slipped in and out. 
So that's one of the one of the um, signatures in, and I'm adding the other signature, and again just getting everything through that bottom grommet and then tying it off. I do have really long cords here because I like adding um, a beads to the bottom. That last one is hard to get through so I sometimes have to use a tapestry needle to, to get that, that last one through that grommet since there's a lot of four cords going through it at this point. Tying off this last one And here's the, the beads that are added. And I, I'll show pictures at the end. I think I got six of them made. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Bye for now.